Hey everyone, welcome back to the Crypto ZX channel. If you're new, please consider subscribing. But now let's talk about VeChain. You know, this one is a really, really exciting update for VeChain. So if you are part of the VeChain community, you do want to watch this update till the absolute end. If you did watch uh, my previous updates, you guys know, you know, I was expecting a move for VeChain in the upcoming, you know, weeks. And that's exactly what's happening right now. And what if I told you this is the absolute start? What if I told you we haven't even started as to what we are potentially about to see in the very near future? So, you know, we're going to get into all that. So sit back, relax and enjoy the show. So I was starting to see this overall momentum picking up. Uh, we did see this breakout over the past, um, you know, 24 hours. Uh, 13 hours ago, I went on my community tab. You guys can see I said VeChain and, um, you know, the side emoji because VeChain was ready to break out from the, um, you know, levels that um, it was key resistance huge resistance which obviously dates back to uh, the level where vchain was prior to the ftx collapse and we have broken out of there today which is historic and this is about to cause vchain to retest the most important resistance which we've been talking about pretty much throughout the bear market and um, yeah excitement is definitely there so let's take a look at that but before we do that let's look at it on the weekly time frame vchain up 17.7 percent and on the monthly time frame it's up 30.9 percent you know we're seeing the momentum shift officially happening if we're looking at the price, VeChain is currently sitting at 2.93 cents, up 13.4% as mentioned in USD comparative. It's also up 11.9% in Bitcoin comparative over the past 24 hours. Looking at its market cap, $2.1 billion and the 24 hour trading volume currently sitting at 142 million. And at this point, guys, a lot of these haters on VeChain over the course of the last two to three months, I'm sure are speechless at this point because there were people that were, uh, you know, saying to me, because I was targeting 2.6 cents resistance, people were saying, you know, VeChain is not even going to reach that 2.6 cents. And I'm sure these people are completely speechless right now. Let's not waste more time and let's take a look at what is happening right now. But before we do that, as always, just a quick disclaimer. Anything on this channel is not financial advice. Always do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in crypto. So now, you know, this is what I want to share with you guys. So VeChain um, official Twitter uh, posted this. It says threat time. Another busy week has flown by at VeChain. Teams are building full throttle as we gear up to launch our ambitious quarter one 2024 roadmap. Last week, we saw a hint of our new DAP store uh, immediately, uh, no, imminently uh, arriving in our new mobile wallet, vworld.com. Uh, so you guys can see this for yourself, VeChain Rewards, World of V NFT Marketplace, VC Marketplace, VeChain Energy. So you guys can see, you know, they've been building. And if you go date back to my old updates, I continuously said, yes, VeChain is not outpacing some of these projects that you are looking at. But, you know, if we're looking at the usability, the fundamentals of VeChain, that speaks for itself. And there will be a time where market starts heating up and you will see the native token actually start moving. And the time is now. And they've been building, you know. I've said this continuously. I know there's a lot of new money coming into the space, so you guys might not know this, but you know, a project that goes ghost mode in a bear market is the biggest red flag there is. Uh, but a project that's building throughout a bear market, you know, innovating, trying to, you know, actually live up to what they actually say, is a project that you need to be paying attention to because there's thousands of projects out there that go ghost mode. In a bear market but as soon as the market starts heating up this is when they start developing innovating all that stuff and i have no room for those projects for myself so that's that and this just gives us a better understanding as to what is really happening and speaking about traction it's building massive amounts of traction right now you guys can see this for yourself as well marketplace as a service is so epic so you guys want to read more about it i would recommend you guys to um, go on vchain's twitter and kind of go through uh, what they're doing. There's a lot of de developments coming out of uh, the VeChain uh, team. So really, really nice to see, especially if you're holding VeChain. And of course, that is also a uh, driving factor as to why we're seeing the price seeing an insane upside. But of course, the entire market momentum is also a huge catalyst. But you can see this for yourself. This resistance, 
where the price of uh, VeChain was prior to the FTX collapse was at 2.8 cents. And as you guys know, over the past uh, two to three weeks when we were doing the updates, I was saying, you know, this is the main target. And, you know, this target did play out as a key resistance for us. We had a little bit of a hard time breaking out of there. But officially today, December the 12th, we have seen VeChain break out of this resistance and it's heading towards none other than its new yearly high. And of course, new yearly high for it to be uh, is going to be retesting this resistance at 3.3 cents. Guys, this is the closest we've ever been. You can see this for yourself. We're only 15% away for VeChain to retest this resistance. And what if I told you the excitement begins after we break out of this resistance? Because pretty much since May of last year, as so many other projects, you know, the bear market started basically in May. Of course, we had um, the FTX uh, collapse and all that good stuff. Um, but, you know, the real bear market cycle started in May of last year. If you go look around any project, that's where the consolidation phase really started. And pretty much since May of last year, VeChain has never been able to break out of this resistance. Only time we retested it was back in August of last year. And now is the time where we finally see VeChain breaking out of this resistance. So basically now at this point, the main target that I'm aiming for for VeChain is at the 3.36 cents. And this is going to be extremely exciting. Uh, and one thing I want to share with you guys is this. Let me go on the hourly time frame and show you guys what is um, telling me that this is bound to happen. Not Casper. That's not what we need. We need VeChain. So there we go. Let's go on the hourly time frame. So look at that. So obviously, as you guys know, over the past 24 to 48 hours, we saw a huge uh, flush for um, BTC, which impacted the entire market. And VeChain is no exception. VeChain did make its way back down to 2.5 cents. But look at the way it bounced back. Not did it only just bounce back, it hit a new monthly high. And that should tell you the momentum that VeChain has right now. So basically, to put it into short words, if you saw um, your buy orders uh, placed in at 2.5 cents or you just managed to dollar cost average in around this dip, you saw the price of VeChain in the last 24 hours alone go up 22%. 22% guys, we're not talking about a small gain. When was the last time VeChain has made these significant moves? It seems like forever, right? And what if I told you, we're about to see a lot of people hop on the train now. All of the sudden, you know, the haters that were, uh, you know, hating on VeChain throughout the bear market again, you know, forgetting the fact that, you know, we're, we're in a clear bear market. But now, all of a sudden, as we start approaching this crucial resistance and breaking out of here, we're about to see a huge flood of new potential investors come in and showing interest on VeChain. So we're about to see way more moon boys than we see currently, which is really, really, um, you know, jokes um, in my opinion. But, you know, like I said, clear target at this point is at the yearly high. And that is the target I'm aiming for. And once we break out of that resistance, this is where excitement will bring in. And it's going to be organic excitement as well. People know the key level and they know the, uh, you know, importance of this resistance. And we've seen the likes of Solana compare it with Cardano as well. When Cardano broke out his key resistance, it went up 60%. And Cardano's market cap compared to VeChain is so much bigger. So could we see VeChain even possibly doubling? I'm again, you know, I'm not trying to make unrealistic predictions, but I could see VeChain running up to even the 6.2 cents uh, resistance, um, which is, of course, the 78.6 zone, you know, once we break out of this resistance, that would be that main target that we'd be aiming for. So if I were to bring out the measuring tool for you guys, that's a move of about 83%. And that can happen sooner than a lot of people think. And I think there is something going behind the scenes that we do not know of because the way VeChain has held uh, throughout the uh, massive flush that we have seen over the past 24 hours speaks for itself. So buckle up. This is officially the time for the VeChain holders, um, you know, that have been accumulating throughout the bear market. Shout out to Michael. Shout out to Patrick. I know who you guys are. And these guys, these two guys right here, been accumulating 
and these guys will be the whales of the future but that is it for today's update uh, let me know if you guys want to see more v chain updates love you all see you tomorrow in crypto zx and peace out